Hello dear students of class 4. Hope you all are fine. As we are in the last class, we have discussed about adaptations in terrestrial animals. So this is the continuation of the same chapter, that is chapter 4. And the, time, and the topic is adaptation in animals. So we have learned that there are mainly categorized according to the habitats of the animals. As for the terrestrial, the animals that live on land and for the aquatic are the animals they live in water. And we have the amphibians. These are the animals that live both on land and in water. And lastly is a, uh, the aerial the animal that can fly. So today we are going to discuss mainly with the aquatic amphibians and aerial. So what are they, the, the, the skills, the features of adaptation? How do they survive in different habitats? So for that you have to refer to page number 33. So we already have discussed about the adaptation in terrestrial animals in the last video. So today we are going to continue with this. That is Adaptation in aquatic animals. Aquatic animals are the animals that live in water. How do they adapt in the water? How do they live in water? What are the main features in order to live in water or to survive in water? These are the main features that I have jotted down on the board or I have shown on the board. On the board that is the Aquatic animals, they have a streamlined or a spindle shaped body which help them to swim in the water. Okay, so and many the aquatic animals have got the fins to swim in the water or limbs to swim in the water. So these are the two features which you have discussed right now and along with that some of the aquatic uh, birds, such as duck and geese, what they do, or uh, how do they, uh, how do they live in water is that they have the wave feet. Because of the wave feet, okay, with the help of the wave feet, they pedal in the water. They use this feet as a pedals. They when they pedal. They push the water backside, and with the help of that, when they push the water backside, they move forward. As you can see, as you have noticed, or you have already seen them how they pedal in the water. So, with the help of the pedal feet, with the help of the wave feet, they pedal in the water, and without, with the help of that, they push the water back backside, and they move forward or on the surface of water and most program and, and yes in some in all the cases fish they have got gills they have gills in order to breathe in the water exceptions uh, in the mainly in some of the cases such as uh, whales and dolphins they are also aquatic animals but they don't have gills, they have a lungs. So with the help of the lungs, they breathe in the water. Therefore, every short interval, dolphins and whales are seen on the surface of the water in order to breathe or to exhale the oxygen that they require to breathe. And, and yes, these are the mainly features are the skills or the ways of adaptation that has been taken by aquatic animals. These are the features of aquatic animals. And as we talk, when we talk about adaptation in amphibians, yes, as we know that amphibians are the animals that, that they live both in water as well as on, on land. And yes, as, as I take the, uh, as you take examples of frog and toads, they do have a 
wave feet. When they are in the water, with the help of the wave feet, they paddle and swim in the water. And as they come on the surface of the land, what do they wear? What they do? What they? The main feature they have is the they have got a back legs which are very stronger as compared to the front leg from uh, as the front legs okay the main limbs front legs and these back legs are very strong enough which is mainly used to jump and move on the ground same leg they use as to pedal in the water and the same leg legs they use as to jump or to move on the ground and the other feature that they have is they have a moist skin with the help of this they can breathe in the water as when they came when they come out of the water they have got lungs to breathe in some of the cases some of the animals like turtles they have got a heart covering they have got a heart covering or shells which protect them from animals or from the dangers so these are the main features or the, the ways of adaptation of amphibians so let us talk about adaptation in aerial animals aerial animals animals are those which can fly you can say birds they can fly and how is it possible to fly because of this many of these features they can fly that is birds have got hollow bones which are very light that helps in in you know to fly or to float in the air as well as what they have got is they have got feathers which keep them warm as well as protects from the cold and they have got a streamlined body which because of with the help of this ship they can easily cut in the air and they can fly and lastly when you see the bird the front limbs are modified as a wings as you see if you have send the bird you can easily see the limbs of the bird the front the front limbs are modified as a wings with which the birds can fly in the air so these are the mainly features different features of a different types or a different animals living in a different habitats starting with aquatic amphibians and aerial animals so today you have you are you have discussed okay you have learned about this the types of animals are according to their habitats and yes we're going to continue next class uh, with the adaptation of food of different animals so i would want wind up here till then take care thank you